All right. So there we go. That's the end there. It's not perfect, but good enough, and it's sealed, and it's uh, certainly enough to push push uh, plastic through. Out now, here we go. Give that a coat, nice warm. Um, I also think at some point I will probably um, put uh, an O ring or maybe a double two O rings around here. Uh, just to really give me a good seal against the cylinder wall. Um, as you can see in our injector here, that, uh, that fits. It is a nice tight clearance, as you can see. A little bit of movement, so it will slide nice and easily. Um, I do expect that as that pushes down, we will probably get some uh, plastic pushing back up. Um, the sides there, so um, that's why I do think that uh, perhaps um, an O ring around the end there would probably be a good idea. So, what we'll do now, fit that to the round.
should also do while I think about it. So all I was doing then is just marking a couple of notches in there so when it comes to put it back together I get it all lined up properly. Right, so I'll take these out. That sounded better. There we go, right at the end now. So we can pop that there. Figure out what this mark was. There. They're quite snug. Those screws which I'm quite happy about actually. These ones at the top and this cap there are finger tied on the other way. And it probably helped having the piece of PVC plastic there in between. together. You can see in the end there now, I don't know if you can, but that's the end of our piston. 
so that'll give me just enough room to insert a nozzle here and uh, so there's no, not much play in there at all I have to say so far that's looking like a fairly solid build and I am pretty happy with that <coughs> now in terms of the things that are left to do to this uh, injection module um, obviously we need to come up with a nozzle and I'm going to turn down a piece of aluminium um, to a conical shape that will go in there and I've got some M5 set screws that will go in so they won't have heads hanging out like here I thought I'd keep it nice and neat around there so that will insert into there um, there will also eventually be another insert going into the nozzle from the side here which will be the temperature sensor um, I'm thinking if I read it at this point it's obviously going to give me um, an accurate reading of the temperature of the plastic as it's exiting excuse me as it takes an exiting uh, machine uh, the next thing we have to work out is I'll have to measure the point once the end of the piston um, comes up uh, which I think is around here going by these marks um, we then have to cut an opening into here because um, what will actually happen uh, to feed the plastic pellets into your injection machine um, coming off of here we have uh, we'll be mounting a hopper um, and then what will happen as the, the piston rises it then clears this hole and allows plastic to pour through from the hopper to then get heated at this end. Um, the beauty of this design then is as the cylinder comes down it closes off this hole obviously um, and it's important to make sure and that's the reason why the, the piston is so long that once the piston is fully extended that the top end still keeps that closed because what you don't want um, is the, the top of the piston going past this hole and uh, plastic pellets going in on top of your piston because that's just going to drive them back up here and it would continue to happen until eventually up here gets clogged up with pellets which is obviously going to be a problem. You'd then have to pull the whole thing down and clean it out. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that progress so far. I'm thinking also at this stage what I'll probably do, I mean we have to drill some some large holes either end here uh, to run our air hose into this top uh, air ram. Uh, I'm thinking also um, purely for weight saving that I'll maybe actually cut some strips or drill a lot of large holes into this top piece um, just to really save on weight because I mean being steel uh, it's actually starting to build up a fair bit of weight. It is quite large, so that's it standing on the ground. Um, so yeah, it's quite tall, but I'm quite happy with that progress so far.